welcome to my latest video. <laughs> Today we're going to be a little bit further. So I'm just going to go ahead and send myself a message here. And I'll show you what I mean. As you can see right there, it just shrinks it down right there. And it's not going to obtrude anything you're doing. As you can see, you know, nothing's blocked. And it's right in the status bar. And it's fully readable as well. This is very useful if you're inside an app on your device and you receive a notification. You know, it's not going to interrupt anything that you're doing. But again, it's still fully readable. And of course, you could tap on it as well to go to the notifications. So highly recommended tweak. K and I is available for $1.49 and it's a new mini player music tweak for your device. So as you can see right here, it's essentially just a little window that floats around and there's, and there's other tweaks that do this, but this provides some cool new options. Um, and there's some cool theming options and some other 3D touch stuff if you have a 6S as well. So essentially, if you just go ahead and double tap on the interface, as you can see there, as you can see, it's actually just gonna change themes like that. There's a white one, a kind of a grayish one. And then there's a translucent one as well, and of course a dark night mode theme. And of course you have all your play, pause, skip controls, all the basic stuff that we're used to, which is really nice. Um, so just cool stuff like that. And if you tap and hold on this interface, it's just going to go ahead and open up the now playing app, just like that. And you could actually 3D touch on the album artwork if you have a 6S or 6S Plus. So get some haptic feedback, then it'll bring up a kind of an enlarged view like this. And it's a little bit hard to grab, but you could actually move it around like this. And you could just tap to make it go back to normal, like that, and up in the corner there. And of course, you could dock it off to the side like that. It'll stick to the side of the screen, which is really cool. And if you guys head over to settings, there's some options to configure for this one as well. So you could really customize it to your liking in here. There's gesture configuration up here. Um, and then there's some color configuration. Then you have various visual things, for example, circle artwork, you know, hide on lock screen. If you don't want to, you know, the entire tweak to show up on the lock screen, uh, you could hide the volume, hide the time, just, you know, all kinds of cool in-depth customization stuff you could do inside the settings for the tweak. And just make sure you respring after you've finished, you know, changing everything. But really cool tweak. I just enjoy, you know, having that MIDI player on iOS, you know, whenever I want to pull it up. And also one more thing about Candite, essentially you could go ahead and open up Activator on your device and you could set a gesture to and to hide and show the MIDI player. So I'm just going to choose triple press the home button. You could go ahead and assign the tweak in here. And now when I go ahead and triple press my home button here, I'll show you. As you can see, the tweak will completely hide. I could re-enable it that way as well. So that's a cool way to toggle it on and off. So next up, we have 3D App Lock. This one's available for $1.49, and it allows you to lock applications on your device using the 3D Touch menu, and then essentially once the application is locked, you could authenticate to open up the application with Touch ID or a passcode if you wanna do that. So whenever you go ahead and 3D Touch on an app on your device, as you can see here, you're gonna be getting a new lock app button along with any other options that might be there. And you know, it looks very native, it looks like it belongs there. And also, even for applications that don't have 3D touch shortcuts by default, as you can see, that it's actually just gonna add the lock app button for that. So basically every application will now have 3D touch support with this tweak. So basically, if you guys wanna lock up an app, just go ahead and tap lock app, and then it's done. So essentially, if I 3D touch again, as you can see there, it's now gonna give me the option to unlock the app. And if I go ahead and tap on it, as you can see, it's actually going to make me scan with Touch ID, but I, I don't have Touch ID enabled, so it's giving me an error message. But you, you also have the option, you know, to basically enter a passcode. You could click that, and then you could put in the passcode as well. So yeah, it's just a really cool way to, you know, secure applications easily. And again, you could unlock it just as easily just by selecting Unlock App. So just easy way to lock and unlock apps when you need to. So if you guys head over to Settings, you could go ahead and scroll down to 3D App Lock. Uh, in here, you could enable or disable the tweak, and you could unlock all apps if you want to. So you could just scan your finger once to unlock all the apps. There's also the subtitle as well, which um, I do have enabled. It essentially will say remove app unlock, or if it's not locked, it'll say lock app with touch ID right there. Um, and then you could also always show the passcode button. So basically, you could have it so it'll always you know give you the option to add a passcode. You know, just in case you don't want to use Touch ID, then you can also change your passcode here. And yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this tweak. Once again, it's called a 3D App Lock. Just looks very native. Looks like it belongs there. So super cool tweak. And just to let you guys know, you guys will need a Touch ID device to use this tweak. Even though there is the Pass 9, and it's essentially more solid color, you know, just a little bit thicker, less translucent. And also, if you guys open up settings and find the legacy status bar option, uh, there's, of course, you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak, but there's also some other random options that allow you to hide different things in the status bar. Uh, for example, carrier, airplane mode, Bluetooth, you know, logo, low location services, rotation log, VPN, and airplay. So just some random mis miscellaneous options in case you want to do that. Then you could apply changes and respring the device. So if you guys are feeling nostalgic, this is something you should try.
Anna Launch is available for $1.49 and it allows you to add different animations to your home screen icons when you do different things on your device. So as you can see here, when I launch an application, it's going to go ahead and do a little animation there like that. So it just adds a cool touch to your device. And you also may have noticed it earlier when I was talking about other tweaks as well. Uh, essentially, you could go into settings and, you know, go into Andy Launch. And this is how you set it up, essentially, to your liking. Just go into animations and then, you know, you'll see global animation up at the top. This is where you basically configure which animation you want. There's various to choose from in here. Uh, let's just try out a couple different ones. Let's try out Mac OS Dock Bounce. So that's a cool little effect there. That, I'm sure that looks cool with the dock application. Pretty cool. So literally when you shake your device, your icons will become loose. That's just kind of a cool little feature there. As you can see, it'll, of course, just animate whichever one you have set. Then you have animate on swipe, and that's when you swipe between home screen pages like this. As you can see, things will wiggle. So <laughs> that's cool. And, of course, if you have any per app one set, that'll, that'll do the different animation there. Then you have animate on rotate. So if you have an iPad or an iPhone 6 Plus or 6S Plus, uh, it'll go ahead and do this when you rotate like that. So that's pretty cool as well. So cool tweaker for, or cool tweak. I, I just said tweaker. That's a combination of tweak and feature. <laughs> cool tweaks, you know, for adding cool animation feature. Bite 2 is available for $1.50. And it's a really cool 3D touch app switcher replacement for the iPhone 6S. And it also works on other devices as well. So basically on the iPhone 6S, you 3D touch on the left side of the screen like you always do. And it gives you the new tweak, the, you know, the new interface. If you have an older device, you just double tap and swipe that it'll give you the same thing, so that's really cool. But essentially, you know, for the 6S, normally you're able to essentially 3D touch and then swipe between your past two recent apps, and you could also pop into your app switcher, but this tweak is a much better take on that. It essentially just allows you to scroll between, you know, all the applications that you have open like this, and you basically just release your finger on the app you want to open, and you're there just like that. And, you know, something really cool about the latest update, which is Snakebite 2, is essentially, as you can see, you have these app previews when you go ahead and slide over an application. You get a live preview of what the application is actually going to look like and what's going on inside that app. In the past, that wasn't there. So that's a really cool touch to Snakebite. And if you open up settings, of course, you have some options to configure for Snakebite as well. So up the top, you have the ability to enable or disable it, of course. And then you have show app labels. This will essentially just, you know, as the name suggests, it'll show you little labels in the view here. So that's pretty cool, you know, if you want to be specific there. But this actually takes it to the next level and ports it to the actual app icon. So that's incredibly cool. You know, especially if you like the parallax effect. Pretty much all the stock app enable and disable it. There's also a little parallax test area. And there's also light, medium, and strong settings. I'm just going to keep it on strong so it's easy to detect in this video. App delete allows you to essentially remove the X icon when you go ahead and enter wiggle mode from specific applications that you don't want it to show up for. For example, let's say you didn't want anybody deleting a certain app on your device. Maybe it's a very important application to you. You could essentially do that with this tweak. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable the X on the YouTube icon for this demonstration. So we're just going to head over to settings here. Then you open up the app delete preferences and then just go into applications. And basically all you have to do is toggle on any app you don't want to be deleted. I'm just going to toggle on YouTube here. So now, as you can see, when I go ahead and enter my device into wiggle mode, you know, all the other applications do have X's, but YouTube simply doesn't. So it's a really cool tweak to essentially avoid, you know, pesky people from deleting applications on your phone. Lock shot essentially makes your lock screen transparent. This is actually a really cool feature. So basically whatever's you know behind your lock screen, whether you're on your home screen or whether you're inside an application, as you can see there, it's actually going to show you right on your lock screen there. So you can get a preview of what is essentially coming when you unlock your device. So of course for me it's my home screen like this, but let's just say I open up an application, let's just jump into settings here. And we'll lock the device and again it's just going to go ahead and blur in whatever is actually in the background and put it into the settings there so you can see right there um, i don't know maybe if you just forgot where you were or you just kind of wanted to have a reminder right before you unlocked your device i could see this being a th you know something that's useful and it's also just a really cool feature to have so in the settings for it you can enable or disable it you could also disable the unlock zoom animations if you want to make things look more seamless so it just kind of stays there the whole time there's also the blur radius and some in-depth color, you know, tint settings as well. Then, of course, you could respring once you're done. So either way, super cool tweak.
I've become pretty fond of Night Shift, and I frequently use the toggle in the control center to enable and disable it. However, if you absolutely hate Night Shift, especially that toggle down there, you could go ahead and use Nuke CC Night Shift to basically just completely remove the toggle from down there. I'll show you guys what it's like when we go ahead and install it. So we're just going to go ahead and find the tweak here, and we're just going to go ahead and download this, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys now when I open up the control center. Boom, it's just exactly the way it was before Night Shift. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. Love y'all, bye-bye. <laughs>